Greetings, I'm Jonathan Speard, I need more EU, and welcome to Age of Engineering Super Shorts. Generators won't be enough for long. Not one I plan to make and use overclockers. To that end, I'm going to try something I've never tried before, wind turbines. First, let's get a wind meter. Now that is a complicated recipe. Crafting calculator is a lifesaver. 24 copper cables, 2 copper coils, an electric motor, a circuit, a battery, and a small power unit. Wind meter. I can charge it in a bat box. And I can right click to find out the wind strength at a cost of 50 EU. To make a simple wind system, I need a wind turbine, a kinetic generator, and a kinetic gearbox rotor. But one thing I need before all of this is steel. I'm going to make a new label, steel. Here's the label setup. Blast furnace, solid fuel firebox, compressor, hopper, transfer node, transfer pipe. This is taking forever, but I have a solution. Behold the block cutting machine with a diamond blade. It cuts blocks into plates. Look at that speed. Nine iron plates for a ninth the time. One blast furnace, one solid fuel firebox, and one compressor. If you type a number, you can request the recipe for multiple items at once. I'm setting up three systems. Two more compressors, two solid fuel fireboxes, two blast furnaces, and now I can make this system. Blast furnaces require heat, not energy, so I don't need to connect them to power. But I'll place down hoppers behind them, and compressors on top of the hoppers. Finally, three solid fuel fireboxes, which I can shift right click to rotate in the exact opposite direction. The orange dots need to connect for heat transfer to occur. 12 universal fluid cells, which I'll put in my item filter. Three transfer nodes, with three item filters, and three transfer pipes separated from each other. Now I have a self-sustaining system. Compressors fill cells full of air, which gets transferred into the blast furnace. The cells empty out and get pulled back into the compressor. Now all I need to do is fill them with iron, and fill the fireboxes with coal. Behold, it'll only take 5 minutes per iron. Yes, IC2 machine sounds are annoying, I'll fix them. Later. For now, why listen to machines when you can just turn off the sound? You know it's working when the air is decreasing. Slag is also produced by this process. Enough slag, and I can make a much better immersive engineering blast furnace. Well, after a really immense amount of mining using EFLNs, I have 32 blocks of coal, which I will now proceed to macerate. Look at all that steel, 75. And for only a tiny bit of coal, a block of steel and a metal former on extruding mode will get me a shaft of steel. Now to set up my wind system. Blocks of iron in extruding mode make iron shafts. A generator, a wind turbine, a kinetic generator, and with all this coal dust, 72 raw carbon fibers, 36 raw carbon mesh, 24 carbon plates, 4 carbon rotor blades, and a kinetic gearbox rotor. I also want to make a bunch of IC2 scaffolds, so that I can nerd pull. They act as ladders that you can build on top of as you go up. About 160 is the perfect height for wind turbines. If I had gotten out my wind meter, I would be able to tell you exactly how windy it is up here. This is going to take a while. 40.77 MCW. I have absolutely no idea what that means in terms of EU, but we'll find out. I'll place my kinetic generator like this, and my wind turbine like this, and if I put it inside... It's currently obstructed because of this wood plank, and I anticipated that, but I'm gonna put it away soon. Right now, however, I need an MFE and a lot of glass fiber cables. This is a red orchid. With it, I can grow red sooner from the comfort of my own home. In thunderstorms like this, wind strength is reduced. 36 energium dust. Now I can make 108 glass fiber cables. And that's that for the cables. I'll want an MV transformer, and a CESU, which is made from three advanced RE batteries. Behold. I'll place my MV transform here and reverse it. And place the CESU underneath. With an LV transformer, I can make my wind turbine compatible with all the rest of my machines. All that's left is to add the rotor. At 454 kinetic units, I am making about 119 EU per tick. For anyone who wants to know, kinetic units are 10 times the MCW, and EU one fourth of kinetic units, or one Minecraft wind to 2.5 EU per tick. Now that I have all this EU, it's about time I use it. I've moved my blast furnace setup over here to have more room for machines, and I've also made a fluid solid canning machine. If I set the fluid solid canning machine to fluid enrich, macerate a block of lapis, put 8 lapis dust in the center, insert a universal fluid cell, whoops, fill the universal fluid cell with water first. And once the fluid solid canning machine has lapis, shift right click on the canning machine to fill it with water and start the process. Shift right click again to fill it with coolant. Ah, all these machines running at once, I love it. 8 universal fluid cells, 8 universal fluid cells full of water, and 8 buckets of coolant. An electronic circuit, 9 coolant cells. 9 10k coolant cells, 3 30k coolant cells, and 6 overclocker upgrades. I can shuffle these between machines and watch them run much, much faster. 
And that's it for today's episode. Next time, now that I have all these machines, I'm going to work on calculator. And I'm still trying to decide whether I want to keep the steel making system I already have or make one from immersive engineering. As always, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed!